So uh, good to see Sister Lily Hughes here. Amen. All the way ah. from way up. <laughs> she, she gets around. Uh, uh, good to have you here today. My good friend, Miles Jr. is here today. Amen. 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 And y'all can say what you want. Yes. That he was my friend. He's all right. And I know he got my back. <laughs> you don't believe it, show up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Miles, for being here. All of you, our, 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 our guests, for being here today. With that, uh, I can. Okay. Okay. Uh, did everybody get sacrament for the Lord's Supper? If you didn't, raise your hand. Uh, we are going to observe the Lord's Supper today. We do have several who are out uh, due to the virus. Uh, um, Sister Lily McLaurin, her members of her family has it. Also, Sister Mary Maxfield, members of her family, has the virus. Um, be in prayer. Amen. Be in prayer. So it's good to see you. Amen. I believe that's all we have in the way of uh, announcements. Can I have one more? Thank you. Um, Continue to be prayerful. The officers are coming now to, to lead us in our service.
but to give back unto thee a portion of what you have given unto us. Yes. Use it, Lord, to thy own honor and glory. This we ask in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Cross at the cross where 
y'all aware of it, but I come from some singing folk. Right. Notice I didn't say singing folk. Right. People sing in the shower. Yeah. Some folks yeah. singing for the Lord, they yeah. sing for the Lord. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I ain't going to say no names because I'm betting y'all heard of them before. Amen. Right. And God is, I don't know if I do it right, but it's in my spirit. Let's get on into it because the man said, preach a word. I'm going to preach a word. And we're going to let you get on down the road. We're going to be coming from the book of Joshua. Take it back to the Old Testament, the Old T. Joshua, the 10th chapter. We're going to pick up on about the 7th. We'll read maybe about the 7th through the 14th verse. The book of Joshua, the 10th chapter, beginning at the 7th verse. Now, if you're able to stand, then I would ask you to stand in the respect of the word. If you're not able to stand, put your heart in a respectful place while the word is being read. Amen? Amen. 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 Joshua, 10th chapter, beginning at the 7th verse. If you got to say, word up. Word up. If you don't have it, say, hold up. All right, Bible scholars, they already know. I, and you can tell folks that's going to look at their Bible because these other books, they can find them. Joshua, the 10th chapter, the 7th verse, you'll find these words. It says, so Joshua ascended from Gilgal, he and all the people of war with him, and all the mighty men of valor. And the Lord said unto Joshua, fear them not, for I have delivered them into thine hand. There shall not a man of them stand before thee. Joshua therefore came unto them suddenly, and went up from Gilgal all night. And the Lord discomfited them before Israel, and slew them with a great slaughter at Gibeon. And chased them along the way that goeth up to Bethoron, and smote them to Azekah, and unto Makeda. And it came to pass as they fled from before Israel, and were going down to Bethoron, that the Lord cast down great stones from heaven upon them unto Azekah, and they died. Mm -hmm. They were they were more which died with the hailstones. Then they whom the children of Israel slew with the sword. Then spake Joshua to the Lord in that day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Ajalon. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is not this written in the book of Jashir the Sun stood still in the midst of the heaven and hasted not to go down about a whole day. Mm -hmm. And there was no day like that before it, after it, that the Lord hearkened to the voice of man, for the Lord fought for Israel. Yeah. Well, if you're hearing Joshua, the 10th chapter, 7 through 14 verse, Lord, of the blessing to the reading, the hearing, the doing, and the understanding of his holy word. You might be seated or maybe seated in the presence of the Lord. Just for a few moments, I want to talk to you from the subject, and the subject is a simple question. And if you give me a moment, it'll make sense. This morning, I want to talk to you from the subject. Can you see me now? Can you see me now? I know there's a, 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 a phone company that says, can you hear me now? I, I, I didn't mix it up. I did actually say what I meant. Can you hear me now? Right. Now, uh, my, one of my fathers in the ministry back in L.A., Elder Culpepper, he always says, I, I don't like to get by down with the preliminaries. Well, we gotta, if you don't mind, for just a second, I need to set this story up yes, for you. Yeah. And I'm in story, as, as I tell my folks, I'm in story mode. So you'll hear the points, but it won't be one, two, three, four. They just going to come out as the Lord pushes them out through the story. So let's put the children of Israel where they are. They are on their way into the promised land. I always like to remind people that it's not the promised land, it's the promised land. So that means it's already done. It's past tense. That's their land. Y'all are in our spot. You ever walk up and somebody in your seat? You know how some of us church folk, we got a seat where we sit and don't let somebody be sitting in our seat. Look out. Sister Usher, get them out of my seat. Yeah. Well, 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 the promised land is the children of Israel's seat. And there are kingdoms and men and armies and cities and great fortresses that are in the way. But see, what had happened was God had spoke and told Moses and had told Joshua, 
You ain't got to worry about all of them. Talk, talk. You don't have to worry about anybody in your way. If God be for us, who can be against us? Yeah. That's real talk for the day. If you turn me off right now, understand that nobody can stand against you when God is on your side. Yes. Yes. So, 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 they're on their way into the promised land. They are fresh from a battle at the city of Ai. Yeah. And this was that battle. This was some strategy. I, I like history. I like military strategy. But Joshua and them basically put all, the they, they ran the old okie doke at them. They did the rope doke They yeah. ran up to the gates and then ran away from the gates. Yeah. The men in the city came and ran out like we finna get y'all. They had another couple of forces come around, uh -huh. take the city. Uh -huh. yeah. And then when the men that was running was like, hey, they burning our city. They turned around. That force came out the city, and then another force came and got oh, them. Yeah. So oh. now God, y'all don't sleep on God. God is a cold strategist, you know. Yeah. He does whatever he yeah. wants to do. Right. Yeah. 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 So, 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 Joshua is taking me. He's talking to folks right now. Uh, the Lord gave me a thought that maybe we need to be careful sometimes who we talking to. Right. Yeah. Some of y'all might want to be careful who you plugging into them Zoom meetings with. Right. Some of y'all Skyping with some people y'all ain't got no business Skyping with. All right. Yeah. Yeah. It's the message, the direct message yeah. with folks you don't need to be having conversations with. Uh, 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 Joshua is taking emissaries from all these lands. Uh -huh. Now, God had already told him, don't worry about them. You don't need to talk to them. I'm going to push them out the way. Yeah. So I, I feel to believe that what's going to happen a little bit later on in this sermon might have been a little self-inflicted. Well, so what had happened was, Gibeon is the next city that is in the line of sight. Uh -huh. They realized that they are in the crosshairs of an almighty God. Uh -huh. yeah. So what they did was, they went and tricked Joshua. Uh -huh. I sent some emissaries and they now mind you, Gibeon is a great city. A powerful city, a wealthy city. Uh -huh. yeah. Just the type of city that God would send Joshua and the children of Israel to destroy to make everybody else see who God is yeah. and what he yeah. does. Uh -huh. So 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 Gibeon sent their boys, they dressed up in some rags, dressed up like they was broke. As my mom said, broker than Joe's turkey. I'm not sure if I got that one, but I'm guessing Joe's turkey was pretty broke. So, 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 they dressed up in rags. They put some old bread in their backpack, right? To make it seem like they had came from far away. They rolled up on Joshua and was like, what's up, Josh? How you doing? Josh was like, oh, yeah, who are you? Oh, we are emissaries from far away. Look, we're so far away from you. Look, when we left, this bread was fresh. This Wonder Bread done went bad in our bag since we left home. Yeah. We just some poor folks. We, we ain't nobody. You don't need to mess with us. Why don't we make a peace treaty? You thought we was from Haskell and we really was from uh, Los Angeles. But, but you don't need to worry about us. Let's make peace. So they made a peace treaty and Joshua didn't know who they were. I believe a point comes into uh, uh, question here that maybe we need to be careful who it is we making deals with. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, sometimes we make compromises in our life that are not necessary. Come on, yeah. We compromise a lot of time with people that we don't need to compromise with. Yeah. Yeah. God is saying you are letting things happen that don't need to happen because you have let people in that yeah. didn't need to be inside your so yeah. yeah. Come on. Let's, 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 let's keep working with this and see, understand that people are allowing the devil to get their, his hands on their life. Well, it's all right. He's just messing with this part of my life. You do understand that if you give somebody an inch, they're going to take a mile. Yeah. There's a children's book that's yeah. hard. If you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to want a glass of milk. Yeah. As my mama would simply straight up say that y'all, y'all, you know, she from back here now. She she was rapping for y'all. She would say, if you let the devil ride, at some point he gonna run dry. Yeah. Yeah. So we need to stop compromising. I don't know who I'm talking to today, but somebody is out here compromising. Yeah. I don't know if I'm talking to my, my young ladies. Uh, Y'all are compromising with these men that are not on your level. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. when I see these men, I'm, yeah. don't get all diva on me now. Oh, don't yeah. get all Hollywood housewife on me. I'm simply saying you are a praying child of God. Yeah. You are a woman yeah. of God, and God is going to send a man of God your yeah. way if you're willing to wait for it. Yeah. 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 To my fellas, it's some 
fellas out here. Usually we mess with the fellas, but there are some fellas that are selling on some women, and they are not godly women. Yeah. But the Bible tells me that a uh, man that findeth a wife findeth what? A good man. Yeah. All right? So, so some people are settling for things in life, and God is saying, you don't have to settle. Yeah. You are heirs and joint heirs. You are daughters and sons of the king. The cattle on a thousand hill belong to you. I don't know why you're settling for just anything. But I feel like Joshua made a deal. So when the children of Israel come upon Gibeon, they like, ooh, they looking like, ooh, we about to get these guys. And Gibeon sends they men out and they say, hold on a second, Josh. We got this uh, peace treaty right here that you signed. Yeah. And God said, we ain't signed no treaty with you. <laughs> no, those were all emissaries. So understand, there's people out there that's going to try to treat you. There's people out there that are going to try to deceive you. Yeah. Not everybody that sent you a friend request wants to be your friend. Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. Yeah. Some of the Facebook people out there. Not everybody that accepts a friend request is all about seeing what you're doing. They want to get all in your business. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now, don't act like I'm the only one. Sometimes you accept just so you can see who they friends with. Yeah. Go down they friends list to see who they know. Uh -huh. But you have to be careful who you are at bringing into the company of your family. Yeah. I have a wife and a daughter. I got to be careful who come into the house because I need to protect my wife and I need to protect my daughter. Yeah. This is a pastor of a church. He can't just let anybody run up in here because right. he has been placed in charge of this flock here. Yeah. And he needs to make sure not just anybody step up in this pulpit. Yeah. All, right. Yeah. All right, so so he's made a treaty. So now they have to yeah. honor that treaty. Yeah. So they can't destroy Gibeon. So let's fast forward for about two seconds. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm halfway done right now. Let's fast forward to the point. And, and, and Gibeon now is hooked up with the Israelites, right? They boys. So sometimes you get in trouble by who you are connected with. Yeah. There are five great kingdoms that are of the Amorites. And they are holding ground right in front of the promised land right there, right? Yeah. Oh. They are holding ground. Now, if you want, you can look a little higher up in the chapter. I ain't going to get all into their names, but they tell you the five kings yeah. and the five kingdoms that they represent. Uh -huh. So they look and they say, wait, 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 wait. Get beyond. Who you think you are? Uh -huh. I thought you was with us. What's up with you? Uh -huh. You know what? Get beyond them. They peace with Israel. Hey, y'all, let's get get beyond right now. Uh -huh. Have you noticed that? And I tell my congregation all the time, Pastor, there's nothing new under the sun. Oh, yeah, we got gangbangers yeah, that are out there, don't have no cause with anybody because you stepped on my homeboy's shoes, because you looked at my homeboy's girl, we got to go roll on you. Give me all they did nothing to nobody. And Israel at this point, other than what God is doing, ain't mess with nobody. But the five armies are getting together and they are assembling an alliance and they get ready to take the children of Israel out. But first, they're going to take Gibeon out. So now, because you are connected with somebody that's in trouble, you now have placed yourselves in harm's way. Uh, and I'm talking to somebody that got a family member. They done got into some mess. And yeah. now you in some mess with them because you got to go run and back them up. Yeah. Uh, they got some stuff going on. And now you got to go and bail them out. They done got into jail. And you got to go yeah. at 2 o'clock in the morning and bail them out. Talk uh, amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So Joshua now takes the children of Israel. This is kind of where we pick up right now. And don't worry because the story flows real smooth for the next couple minutes here. Uh, Joshua takes the armies of Israel, the mighty men of valor, and they look at what it says. They left at night. They was hurry up about their business. Yeah. I, I, I don't know, but pastor, sometimes people will call you, and they'll call you at night. You can't wait till the morning to go see about it. You got to go that night. I wonder if there's people out here that will go to their friends when they are in need. You call me at 10 o'clock at night. You can't wait till 10 o'clock in the morning for me to come. You need prayer right now. You need a kind word right now. You need some love and some attention right now. So, 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 so Joshua and the boys are rolling. And what they're doing is running to intercept the armies of the five kings. That's why the scriptures tell you that he's on his way ascending up from Gilgoth. And he's taking his whole army. They done marched all night. So they marched all night. And now they got to get into a fight. Oh, yeah. I don't know who I'm talking to, but somebody cried all night. Oh, yeah. 
Yes. 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 Yes.
talking, this is running down to the end of this thing. Now, look at this particular verse right here. So these boys is running. Now they running so fast, it's hard to slaughter them. Yeah. But remember what God has said. God had told Joshua, ain't a single one of them going to get away. Right. Now look here. In the verse here in 12, it says, Then spake Joshua to the Lord in that day, when the Lord delivered up the Amorites from the children of Israel. What did he say to God? He said, Stun, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Adalah. Now do understand exactly what happened here. Joshua spoke to who? The Lord, right? Some of us are running up on our enemies, and we're like, you better get up off of me. We are talking to our enemy instead of talking to God and saying, God, you take care of my enemy. Some of y'all hear the word of God where he said, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, I'll yeah. repay. How many of y'all have heard people say, well, he might use me to be the one to repay. He might do it, but I don't need you running up into your trouble. The battle is not yours yeah. because it belongs to the Lord. Yeah. 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 Right. So, so Joshua spoke to the Lord. He didn't go to the sun. He didn't go to the Amorites. Yeah. He didn't go to the moon. He said, Lord, I need you to do a favor for me. I need you to move on me right now. It's like the old song that said, I need thee, O Lord. I need you every day and every hour. I need you in every situation. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody, but the songwriter told us that there are all, it said, it said, oh, what things we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pains we bear. Yeah. All because we do not carry everything that God has prayer. Yeah. You need to take everything that you got to yeah. God prayer. So as he comes on down, he says, son, stand still. I need you to stop the sun. These boys is running so fast we can't catch them. Well, now right here is where we get to really the part or the final kind of part of the sermon here where we speak about, can you see me now? Yeah. So, so, so if you notice, the 13th verse says, and the sun stood still. And the moon stayed in its place until the people that avenged themselves on their enemies. So I don't know if y'all tripped this right here. The sun stopped. Now I begin to read. I might have some scientists up in here. I might have some astronomers up in here. I, I might have some physicists up in here. Y'all sitting up here thinking uh, it was a lunar eclipse. It was a solar eclipse. It was an astral uh, uh, event. Well, I need to let you know it wasn't no lunar eclipse. It wasn't no solar eclipse yeah. because that would require the moon, the earth, and the sun to align in a perfect order. Yeah. Look at what happened. It said the sun stood still. Yeah. It said the moon stayed. Yeah. So if the sun stops and the moon stops, uh -huh. it ain't no yeah. eclipse. It's my God Almighty. Oh, 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 oh. Why did that happen? Yeah. Why do you think that happened? Why did Joshua ask for that? I need to encourage somebody today on my way out the door. I need to encourage you that God is taking us through some things. Yes, the last time I believe I was here almost two years ago to the weekend. Well, and I was here right before the pandemic started. Well, we done been through a lot in this pandemic. Oh, yeah, yeah. We still going through a lot. We done went from COVID. We done went to Delta. We done went to Omicron. I think there's even yet another variant that they're talking about. Yeah. But guess what? Just like the Williams brother saw, I'm still here. Yeah. And when I see you here, I know you're yeah. still here. Yeah. And it ain't nothing but the grace of God. But understand, God is using us as an example to let somebody see his power. Yeah. To let somebody see his grace. Yeah. To let somebody see his mercy. So what I think is happening is, is that God is using this particular battle. He needs to make sure that the sun stayed up there long enough so they can see the grace of God. I believe the scripture said, be still and know that I am God. I, I will be exalted among the hills. You ain't got to worry about checking no God. Your God is checking for you. He's setting up so your enemies can see what's going on. I believe I read in the scriptures where he said, Thou prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemies. I don't know if you guys understand what they're saying. Uh, my enemies are going to have to watch me eat. I'm going to roll up some good old Oklahoma chocolate barbecue. And I'm going to eat in front of my enemies at my God's table. They don't know that. Can you see me now? He's trying to set you up 
so that you can show somebody that he can bring you out. Yeah. Somebody here is ready to break down yeah. and God is trying to break you out. Yeah. Somebody's going through a test, but God's taking you through that test yeah. so that you can have a testimony. Yeah. I don't know, but the scriptures tell me that we are encouraged by the testimonies of one another. Yeah. So when yeah. I hear that yeah. you went through some trials and tribulations, yeah. when I hear that you had a die with the COVID, when you had the bid, when I hear that you lost your job and that God is still keeping you, I know that he kept you, he's able to keep me. Yeah. Can you see me that? Uh, well, let's see real quick if we can run a couple of witnesses here. I always like to let the word back up the word. Uh, if we were to call, uh, let's see, three witnesses to the stand. Pull up a couple more chairs. Uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and a bad Negro. I'm sorry, a bad Negro. I believe they were thrown into the fiery furnace for not bowing down to the king of uh, I believe they were thrown down because they wouldn't bow down. Uh, Nebuchadnezzar threw him into the fiery furnace. Yeah. And that was after he had turned the thermostat up seven times higher. Yeah. Uh, Nebuchadnezzar was looking for a show. Uh, he was looking to show his people something. Uh, yeah. If you defy the will of me and uh, the Babylonian yeah. Empire, yeah. this is what's going to happen to you. Uh, so he threw the boys in the fiery furnace. And, uh, he looked over the top hoping to see him screaming and burning. Uh, and he kind of jumped back uh, and he looked Creation, uh, 
can you see me now? You know, walking up that road, uh, and all of a sudden he dropped down to his knees. Uh, yes,
Give him another hand. Amen. And I am about to use him as he has. Yes. We're grateful that he has come our way. Amen. The doors of the church are open. The invitation to become a member of Greater Monroe's Baptist Church. Yes. And if this is not the church of your choice, we'll be happy to send you wherever you want to go. As we stand today, if you are here, we invite you to come. So 
someone is coming around to collect. The scripture says, <clears throat> that they then sang a hymn. And went out into the night. Went to serve. I know it was the best. Jesus Christ. 
Father God, we ask that you look and have mercy. Those that are traveling and are going forth, those yeah, that are setting up yeah, new yeah, lives, yeah, yeah. bless them. Give them your traveling grace. Give them everything they need, Father, to be able to do what it is you would have them to do. Yeah. We know you can. We believe that you will. In these hours of sorrow, be our comfort. In yeah. these hours of despair, be yeah. our hope. Yeah. In the midst of all that's happening, be that love that just yeah. continues yeah. to abide yeah. one yeah. another. Oh, Father God, we thank you. We be so careful to give your name all praise, all glory, all honor in the midst of all of this, knowing that you and your will shall be done. Now, once the enemy was able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. So the only wise God, our Savior, be majesty, glory, dominion, and power, both now and forevermore. If you agree with me, say amen. 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 And amen. God bless you all.